Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today I am really excited to show you guys my brand new car. Before we get into it guys, this is a Range Rover HSE. P400. I'll be completely honest, guys. I didn't even know what the name of this car was when I got it. Long story short, let's just get into the car, guys. I want to show you guys around real quick. So everything about this car, I honestly love. I don't think there's anything that I want to change or do, but one of my favorite things that drew me to it was the rims. It's 22 inches, um, and it's all blacked out, which is one of my favorite things. If you guys have followed me throughout my entire YouTube career, my life, I've had one white car, but I usually do black on black with everything. And when I saw this on the floor, I was like, oh my goodness, I need this. I don't know what it is, but I need it. And I also love the front and the body of it as well, because it has like a really, really sporty look. It has 300. 95 horsepower in it and just to compare guys i just had a jeep grand cherokee limited x i think it had 400 horsepower and i'm not a really big like sports car type guy that needs to like feel that energy and that adrenaline but i would say if you guys have a 400 horsepower suv i would say this accelerates just the same but the ride is a completely different ride everything about the aesthetics of this car everything about it in general i love you got the trim on the side over here i love the decal i love the entire body of the car quite frankly i know there's like a new body that's about to come out as well but personally i think it looks a little bit like rounded out it's really cool and all that but i kind of like the handles on the outside already being out instead of them coming out when you come up to the car. I know that some people probably really like that feature, but for me, it's not my favorite thing. All right, so this is definitely the coolest part about the car. Everything on this interior to me screamed at me. I was like, oh my God goodness i've never seen stuff like this before all right so guys we just got in here and obviously it's gonna get a little bit hot so we had to turn the air up and usually when i put my car on max air whether it's ac or heat like i'd have to scream into the camera to talk to you guys but it's quiet as a whistle i don't think it get much more quiet than this and for me guys i've never been a big luxury car guy i had the chrysler 300 i had the jeep i never wanted to spend a crazy amount of money on a car because i always thought it was a waste of money and i thought there was other things way more important than a vehicle but here we are <laughs> so the interior of this car is definitely my favorite thing about it i love the way it rides i love the way it sits and i love how convenient everything feels we got our g fuel right over here we got our cup holding you know what i'm saying you know, we got that orange vibe yo shout out ksi Use code sensor, 10% off G Fuel. There's two different latches here. So if you open up this one, this is just like a small little latch. You have a little micro USB to plug in for your phone and for a charger. I put the key fob right here. You can probably put it over here as well. But for me personally, I like having it here. And then there's also this button on the side right here. So this one opens the short one. This one opens the bigger cooler. And yes, guys, I said cooler because inside of here is a cooler. And I don't use it as one. I just kind of have it as like my little storage unit. But if you look right over here on this button, it has a little snowflake emoji. And if you press it, I believe this is freezing, and I believe this is just refrigerated temperature. Well, I don't really know what you're going to put in there, but I'm never going to use this as a cooler, to be honest. I'll just put, like, my, my wallet and stuff in there, have that little area for myself. You also have these armrests over here, too, which I, quite frankly, don't really understand because if you're somebody who's sitting in a car and you're driving, I don't understand how anybody is going to have an arm this close to you like this. Like, how are you going to be driving with your arm out like this? So, I personally like to lean it out over here, put this thing up over here like this. You got the all-white leather interior with a little bit of the black accents as well. Honestly, I wish I could tell you guys, like, some really cool things like oh this has this carbon fiber thing here and that thing over there but i honestly don't know anything about this car i don't know anything about it i'm still learning as i go still trying to figure out everything i was a little bit upset because i used to have my sunglasses right up over here and i would just push a button they would come down i have to go like this and this is also really cool too there's two different ways of opening this so this is where my sunglasses go now so it's kind of annoying i just have to get them before i get in the car which i guess really isn't a big deal um and then you also have this bottom button over here which you push this down you have a little glove compartment where you have your user manual any other stuff that you need. I'm a pretty simplistic person, so I'll never really fill any of that stuff up over there. Dashboard's really cool. There's a lot of different options to customize the dashboard. Personally, I'm playing around with it still. Um, I have the speedometer on the left and the RPM on the right, and then in the middle, it shows your gas, it shows your miles range, it shows how many miles your car has. 141 miles. That's pretty nuts to me, honestly, to see. This is still kind of all sinking in. And then over here, you have your two different media displays. This one's more so for navigation, phone, music, radio. This is for your uh, cell phone if you're making any phone calls as well. Then down over here is where you're going to be able to control the climate seats you could control the front seats the back seats if you want heated or cooled seats you could just push this like this and right now i have it on setting one i can make it on three down and i can make it cooled as well bam so if you want cold seats three would obviously be the coldest two would be in the middle one would be the lightest one of my favorite things about this car though guys which i'm still learning about the steering wheel heated steering wheel right here just a little button you just press it it turns orange wheel gets warm and it makes your hands nice and cozy. So I like that a lot. The surround sound in this thing. Oh my goodness. The speakers in this thing. Hold up one second. I don't know what the song is, but we jam it. This is only on 25%. This is only 50%. Okay. It's too loud. It's too loud. Ah. 
Ah. Side note, guys, if it's too loud, too low, there's a button right over here where you can control the music as well and lower it and mute it, make it louder, whatever you want. Skip a song, go backwards on a song, hit the menu, hit the call button, hit the hang up button if somebody's getting a little bit too annoying. Basically, every little form of luxury that this car could ever have or anything that you would ever need is inside of this car. Also has a sunroof as well. I don't really use it that much, honestly, but I guess that's cool. The speaker system, huge upgrade from the Jeep. The luxury, extreme upgrade from the Jeep. The, the style, the class of this car, the interior, the exterior. Back seat, guys, let me show you guys the back seat real quick. So the first thing I did when I got this car is I went to my mom's house and I showed this to my sister and her husband as well. And he was sitting in the back seat over here and we were bumping out to some music, guys. We were just like, uh, 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 uh. And then all of a sudden the music stopped and I looked around and my, my, my sister's husband was laughing. And I'm like, Phil, what'd you do? He could pause and play the music from his buttons over here in the back. I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Look, there's a little mute button here. So he can mute the music, unmute the music. He could control which window he opens. So right now it's on the right one. So bam, this is going to open. If you press the left one, bam, that one's going to open. It's kind of crazy, honestly. And then I have a child lock in the front as well. So next time he gets in the back of my car, if he acts up, I'm gonna make sure I, I put him in timeout. One of the other great things about this Range Rover is that you can control the back seats as well. So if you're sitting in the back, so for example, guys, I play in the Kansas City Pioneers. I assume my squad is gonna be with me at some point. I can imagine us coming off of a tournament win. I'm like, guys, we're going out to a steakhouse. Let's have a good time. I got the whole squad up in here. We had a long day. I'm probably getting carried by my teammates in Call of Duty. And uh, they put me in the backpack. So now they wanna relax. They gotta chill out. They can kinda just lean back like this. I don't know how far I could go back, but this is pretty far back if I had to say. Can also go forward. Yeah, that's enough in the back. Let me show you guys the trunk. The big daddy. I love the trunk, guys. I use this a lot. And like my Jeep, I use it a lot. I'll definitely use it a lot in here. I thought this was really cool. So the top opens up. There's a button right here. You press this. Bam! And that opens up as well. For me, guys, personally, I like to do a lot of wholesale shopping. So I'll go to Costco. I'll buy like chicken. I'll buy uh, organic smoothie mix and stuff like that. And it's, you know, perishables. It needs to have something to stay cold in. So I have this container right here. Kind of put things in. Zip it up, keep it cold. I got my basketball in here. Ball is life, guys. You guys play basketball. You don't want that smoke. Game point for Doug's team. <laughs> Believe me. And then Range Rover also hooked us up with the own custom bag in the back, which I think is really cool too if you want some extra storage as well. Has its little bag back over there and it comes with this rubber mat for the back, which is also super convenient because most cars don't usually come with that standard. I guess when you're buying a fully loaded Range Rover, they add all these little bells and whistles to it. So storage, amazing. A lot of great space back here. Extremely classy, extremely nice looking. Check this out. Wow, fancy. I like that. So guys, the story behind this car is actually kind of nuts because like you guys know, I don't really care about luxury cars. Like if anyone knows me personally, you guys know, like it doesn't really matter to me. I was really more so invested in like a home and making that really nice. But I guess uh, now that I'm getting a little bit older and I'm able to afford it, why not just do it? You know, yesterday I kind of just woke up in the morning. And I said, you know what? I'm probably going to go into a Range Rover dealership, get a uh, Velar because I thought the Velar was really cool and I like that car. So I walked up in there, I test drove a Velar and it didn't really feel like it was that much of an upgrade from the Jeep. And then I saw this in the middle of the floor and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't care how much that thing costs. I don't care anything about, I want that really bad. So I sat down in here just like this. And then all of a sudden I'd say this like 45 year old Asian man, he had this like cashmere jacket on, these black Gucci shoes, this belt, this Rolex watch on walking around. I see him, he's on the phone. He's talking to his wife, I think. And then this other man, he's probably like 55, rich guy as well. I mean, you can clearly tell these guys had money. They're both walking around this car like sharks. And keep in mind guys with COVID inventory is really low. Like this car MSRPs for $113,000. You have to pay $10,000 more than the MSRP to even get the car. Like that's how crazy times are right now. But also at the same time, if you're trading in a car, you'll get a great value. So it almost equals out. I see these two guys walking around. I was just telling the guy I wanted to trade in my other Jeep and get this. They were going out to inspect it. And I knew that if these two guys were standing around this car and walking around, and I could tell they wanted it, that if that guy was to come back, the salesman, and see those two other guys with me, he would probably start asking us questions. And maybe one of those guys would want to buy it as well. And then I would have zero negotiating power and no leverage. And when you're buying a car that's this expensive and this nice, you want to be able to save every single dollar that you can. You want to get the best deal that you possibly can. So I made a split second decision. I said, you know what? I get out of this car. I looked at those two guys. I pointed one of them over because he was in the back. The other one was in the front. I looked at both of them and I said, I'm buying this car. And if you guys want to buy this car, you're not going to be able to buy it because you're going to have to get a bidding war with me and you're not going to win that bidding war. And keep in mind, I'm wearing like a, a Gymshark tank top with some shorts and they're sitting there all like, you know, looking all nice and everything. They just kind of looked at me and they were a little bit shocked. And I, I didn't know what to do because I didn't want those two guys around me when I was trying to buy the car. I mean, I don't know if I would have won a bidding war or not, but I just wanted to call a bluff because I wanted them to get the hell out of there. And I knew that I wanted this car really, really bad. And um, I just knew that I had to call a bluff. It worked out because they went away immediately. The guy came back like 30 seconds later. They tried to lowball me on the Jeep. They tried to upraise me on this like 10,000 over the MSRP. I was like, 
absolutely not. I'm not doing that. I'm not paying that price. These are my deals. This is what I'm going to do because this car is worth this much. I could go out to the dealership I purchased this from and get 7,000 more than what you're offering me. I don't feel like going out to Queens. So you're going to give me this deal. It's going to save me money on the taxes when I'm buying this car. And if you could do that for me right now, I'll walk out today with this car. And my father was with me as well. And he used to do a lot of talking for me. But I think that uh, as I've aged a little bit more, I've been able to get a little bit more experience and have a lot more confidence because I feel like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these things now. And the guy immediately just said yes, like on the spot. So I felt really great about the deal. I have an amazing deal on this car. And I'm, I just feel like I'm at a point in my life where I could just truly do a lot of the things that I want to do. I'm trying to figure out like what that next step is. And I think a lot of it has to do with the Kansas City Pioneers, Call of Duty Vanguard, getting into the Call of Duty League, winning a world championship, and just really enjoying the days every single day as they come by. And uh, just to be, you know, a kid from Long Island that just had a lot of dream and a lot of like ambition. And I just wanted to work uh, to just be at this point in my life right now. And just to see all the support I had over the years, it's crazy to me. And like, I don't take any of this stuff for granted, guys. I'll be honest, man. I was so happy with the home and renovating and all that stuff. But I think this car is like super, super cool. And uh, I could see why people like these luxury cars because uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this thing right now. And I'm planning on enjoying this thing for a very long time. So uh, this is my, my brand new 2022 Range Rover. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video. We got the Call of Duty Vanguard season coming up in a couple of days. We're streaming every day on twitch.tv slash sensor. Um, make sure you guys come out there. If you guys have any more questions about me as well, I'll try to answer them in the comments. But I'm still getting used to this thing. Um, I didn't even test drive this thing. I've literally driven it like 10 miles. So I want to make a video. I want to show it to you guys. And I just want you guys to know, like, look, I, I think a lot of you probably look at me and you're like, oh, this kid, he's bragging, he's this, he's that. Look at him, he's got everything. Uh, it's like, dude, I had nothing. I had shit and I just really wanted things in life and I was persistent and if I can make it happen, believe me, anybody can too. So hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's Boy, Doug Simpson Martin and I'm out guys. Peace.